Hello everyone. So in today's video, we will be learning about Prince Metal and China. So Prince Metal was a scientist or the person that discovered this angina. It is also called as variant angina. It also have other two names which we will discuss later on. So what happened in this kind of angina? It is an uncommon pattern of uh, episodic angina which occur at rest. So as it occur at rest condition, we can also call it as rest angina. And what is the reason behind this angina and how it differ from other types of angina is that this angina is not caused because of any physical activities or heart rate or blood pressure or atherosclerosis. It is only caused due to sudden spas in the coronary artery. Coronary arteries are the arteries which supply blood or oxygen to heart muscles. As heart muscles need oxygen for the pumping activity, as it need to contract and relax for the pumping activity so that it could supply oxygen through blood to whole body. So what happened in coronary artery is that there is a sudden spasm or sudden vasoconstriction occur in it. And how it occur? It occur due to dysfunction of endothelial layer. This is the layer of vessel. When there is dysfunction of this layer, there is spasm and this spasm cause the vasoconstriction of the vessel. When there is a vasoconstriction or sudden spasm of the vessel, like if this is the vessel and here it is the sudden spasm occur due to dysfunction of endothelial layer of the vessel. So what will happen that there will be the blockage for the passage of blood. So very little amount of blood will be available to the myocardium for the pumping activity of the heart which require oxygen. So one thing to be remember is that there is not complete blockage of blood. So in myocardium there will be ischemic condition. And ischemia is something that is imbalance between oxygen demand and oxygen supply. As there will be no further flow of blood, so there will be ischemic condition build up in that part of heart or that, that myocardium where this artery was providing blood previously. Uh, because it is causing the spasm of the coronary artery, it is also called as vasospastic angina. So now it has four names. One because of its uh, discoverer and second one because it is variant, its characteristic and third one because it occurs at rest. It doesn't occur at a uh, physical activity or when a sympathetic nervous system is being turned on or at any other uh, condition like heart rate is being increased or blood pressure increased. No, it, it, is, it doesn't occur at that time. It is occur at rest when you are laying down or when you are ju just relaxing in the morning. It occur at rest position. And its fourth name is vasospastic because of the uh, action or because of the, the reason behind this spasm. As it is a sudden spasm or sudden vasoconstriction of coronary artery, so it can be treated with nitroglycerin or calcium channel blocker. What happened that this is a vasodilator? It is also effective in stable angina. 
as calcium uh, is an important element for the contraction of muscles so we have smooth muscles in our vessel so what happen that there if there will be blockage of these channels calcium channels so there will be no calcium uh, presence in the muscles so there will be no constriction mechanism occurring in that part of the vessel contraction inhibited so that's how this spasm is being relieved through th these two drugs but one thing to be remembered that beta blockers are contraindicated and why these are contraindicated in prince metal angina is that because we have beta 2 receptors in our vessels and what beta 2 receptors do is that they are actually vasodilator and if we block them what will happen that there are other kind of adrenergic receptors that are alpha 1 alpha 1 are responsible for vasoconstriction whereas beta 2 are responsible for vasodilation so if we block this beta 2 receptors what will happen that there will be no more uh, vasodilation and what will happen that effect of alpha 1 receptors will be enhanced that nature is keeping the balance between these two that there is balance between alpha 1 and beta 2 alpha 1 is doing vasoconstriction whereas beta 2 is doing vasodilation but what happen is that when there is blockage of beta 2 there will be no vasodilation so there will be only vasoconstriction we are already having vasoconstriction over here and if there is much more vasoconstriction because of this blockage as only now this effect is present in the vessels so what will happen it will worsen the condition of this pause so it is contraindicated this is the thing that you should always remember because it differs from other types of angina and other types of uh, coronary artery diseases Be because beta blockers are often prescribed in other types of angina but in this type of angina it is not recommended at all so now let's talk about what's the difference between stable and variant or prince metal angina So, in stable angina, as we all know, it occurs during the physical activity or during uh, sympathetic nervous system being turned on. But whereas in Prince Metal angina, what happens, it occurs at rest. And therefore, it is also called as rest angina. And what is the second uh, difference? It Stable angina occur at daytime as we all know daytime is the time where when you do some physical activity or you are physically active but at the night time or early morning you are at rest or you are doing something that is not physically very active so it is night or early morning. Now in stable angina there is a presence of a stable plug plug is made up of uh, cholesterol deposition or lipid deposition so it is present but in prince metal angina there is absence of stable plug and what happened in stable angina there is endothelial cell injury that's why it is causing you trouble during physical activity or when you are physically active but in prince metal this is not the case in the prince metal angina what happened there is dysfunction of endothelial layer which causes the vasospasm of the vessel and what is the last thing 
that is different from stable angina that there is in stable angina there is presence of atherosclerosis but in prince metal angina it is at the initial stages of atherosclerosis prince metal angina can definitely uh, proceed to atherosclerosis but it is not the reason that is causing prince metal angina what is the reason of prince metal angina a dysfunction of endothelial cells which is causing the vasospasm or vaso uh, constriction of stable angina there is already presence of atherosclerosis but in prince metal there is not presence of complete block or uh, atherosclerosis but definitely when you will have uh, the vasoconstriction there it can proceed to, towards the deposition of slippers and other problems to so, prince metal angina can lead to uh, stable angina but it is not the same so now what are the reasons that can cause prince metal angina there are different kind of uh, reason that could be stress stress is almost cause of every and most of the uh, diseases because stress is the main thing that can make you sick so that's why everyone say do not take stress uh, relax and keep it simple so what is the next reason that could be the cause of prince metal angina that you are taking vasoconstrictor what vasoconstrictor do is that they constrict your vessels and when there will be constriction there will be a chance of vasospasm and there will be prince metal angina so this can be the second reason and what could be the third reason that you are smoking smoking can lead you towards lung problem towards heart problem towards uh, diabetes and so many other and what can be the next reason cold weather can also initiate prince metal angina and the fourth one is cocaine cocaine or other abuse drugs some people do cocaine and uh, when they have prince metal angina they simply ignore, uh, say that they do not take but in toxicrine you can always see what is inside the patient's body so it is easy for physician to check if he is taking cocaine or not and he can easily detect if it is uh, prince metal angina due to cocaine or some other abusive drugs so this these are the reason that can cause uh, prince metal angina and you can abbreviate or you can memorize it by s s c c v like stress smoking cocaine cold weather and vaso constrictor so as i told you earlier there are two types of receptors adrenergic receptors present in the blood vessel which are alpha 1 and beta 2 receptors so activation of alpha 1 produce vaso constricting effect whereas activation of beta 2 receptors cause the vasodilation effect what happen in prince metal angina that there is dysfunction of endothelial layer or inner layer of vessels so in inner layer there are presence of these receptors so what happen in this endothelial layer that there are some naturally producing vasodilator for example nitrous oxide nitrous oxide is being produced by the endothelial cells and it act as vasodilator what can happen that there can be a dysfunction or decreased production of basal dilating substances like nitrous oxide so when there will be decrease in this production there will be uh, there will be obviously effect of other things or other opposing things which is vasoconstrictors when there will be imbalance between these two vasodilator and vasoconstrictor obviously the one uh, that will be having in more concentration will show its effect on the vessels so there can be some ans dysfunction 
विच कैन लीड टू हाई टोन ऑफ सिंपथेटिक नर्वस सिस्टम एज वी ऑल नो वट सिंपथेटिक नर्वस सिस्टम डज इज दैट इट कॉज वेजो कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड वेन देर विल बी वेजो कंस्ट्रक्शन बिकॉज ऑफ दिस फंक्शन ऑफ ए एन एस देर विल बी ऑबियसली सम इम्बेलेंस बिटवीन वेजो डायलेशन एंड वेजो कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड वेन देर विल बी दिस फंक्शन ऑफ ए एन एस देर विल बी इंक्रीज इन द वेजो कंस्ट्रक्शन इफेक्ट एंड दस देर विल बी अक्रेंस ऑफ स्पाज विच कैन लीड टू प्रिंस मेटल इंजाइना और वेजो स्पास्टिक इंजाइना सो नाउ हाउ कैन यू इंडिकेट और हाउ यू कैन फाइंड आउट वट काइंड ऑफ एंजाइना इट इज वेन ई सी जी इज डन देयर इज एलिवेशन ऑफ एस टी सेगमेंट वेयर एज इन अदर टाइप ऑफ एंजाइना दैट इज अनस्टेबल एंजाइना एंड स्टेबल एंजाइना देयर इज एस टी डिप्रेशन बट इन दिस केस देयर इज एस टी सेगमेंट एलिवेशन so from st elevation what can one deduce is there are 90% chances that the person or patient is having mi that is myocardial infarction but 5% chances is that he is having vasospastic angina now one thing to be remember here is in this case infarction occur infarction mean that there is death of myocardial cells whereas in angina what happen there is ischemic condition and ischemia is different than infarction it is just the imbalance between oxygen demand and oxygen supply whereas infarction means there is death due to deficiency of oxygen other 5% can indicate that due to some other cause which can be uh, pericarditis or some other causes and pericarditis is the uh, inflammation of pericardium which is the sac fibrous sac surrounding the heart so these are the three things that can happen uh, when there is elevation in the st segment of ecg so this was all about prince metal angina or variant angina if you have any questions related to the topic let me know in the comment section below and thank you very much for watching my videos